Hey everyone, and welcome to another Weed Tip. Today, we'll be showing you a unique pest that took me a while to identify. So I have a grow space that's located in an outdoor shed. And oftentimes, this is the one that gets random pests eating my plants. Even though it's still located in a sealed grow tent, as they're able to sneak in when I leave the doors open to work on the plant. I usually can find the source of the plant damage though, and deal with the pests before they get out of hand. However, this time, I just couldn't figure it out, even after a week. There was big chunks of leaves gone each time, so it had to be a bigger pest. However, every time I tried to look for it, I just couldn't find anything. I originally thought it was a cricket, because there are crickets around this area. And even here, you can hear a cricket in the background as I'm filming the plant damage. After taking all the plants out and looking for a cricket under a water catch tray, I didn't find anything, so I figured maybe it's gone. But it wasn't, and anything I grew in here got cut down, until I finally found the culprit, which is this caterpillar. Now I covered caterpillars in the past, and I believe I even dealt with this specific type of caterpillar before but they were always found on larger plants, so I didn't know that if they're near a seedling, they'll actually cut down the main stem and then burrow into the ground to slowly nibble on the leaves under cover. These cutworms, which will eventually turn into a moth, will typically only come out at night to feed and then hide all day during the daylight hours making them a lot more difficult to spot. And I only found this one because I turned on the lights during the night cycle to see if I can figure out what was eating these plants. Removal of these, if you can find them, is to just plug them off. Otherwise, adding diatomaceous earth around the base of the plant will work as well in killing off any cutworms in the ground. Diatomaceous earth also has the added benefit of killing off a large number of other pests that could feed on the plant and will provide silica to the plant as it breaks down. So I've been mixing this in the top inch of soil for all of my outdoor grows. If the caterpillars are smaller and harder to spot or if they're hiding in your buds, spraying with BT is the all natural way of removing all caterpillars from your foliage and buds and because it's just a microbe naturally found in soil it's safe to spray up to the day of harvest finally if you're growing in a large space like in the ground or in a large raised bed you can install a plant collar to prevent cutworms along with other pests from reaching your plant through the soil and this can easily be done with half of a cup pushed around an inch into the soil around the plant. And that's it. 